friends, if you haven't heard this story, this is one of the most important stories that came out of Hurricane Helene. Listen to this. Many of you know that a little seven-year-old boy named Micah was swept away in the flood after Hurricane Helene hit Asheville, North Carolina, and he began to call out to Jesus to save him. Here's a little clip from the news. I'm so proud of my son because in his last moments, he wasn't screaming for me. He was screaming, Jesus, Jesus, save me. Jesus, I hear you. Jesus, I'm calling upon you. And his wildest dreams and everything that he wanted to be was a superhero. And that was his goal in life. And instead, he's my hero. I couldn't have asked for a better son. And he was so happy up until the very end when he was screaming for Jesus. And in that moment, I think he found joy. You know, the innocence of children is actually quite spectacular. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. The next part of this story is truly amazing. There is an artist named Elizabeth London who is located in St. Louis, Missouri, who woke up the morning after the flood weeping because in her spirit, she had been given the name of her next piece of art. And it was called, Can You Tell My Mommy I'm Safe Now? So here is the incredible painting that Elizabeth London made of this little boy. Elizabeth hadn't even watched the news and she knew nothing about Micah. Then she began to receive a poem that she wrote down weeping. Tell her I don't hurt anymore. Tell her I feel so great, like a superhero who could do anything. Do I have powers now? Oh, well that's okay. Could you please tell her I left her my favorite blanket? Felt like the hug I got from you, warm and safe. And I know she could use that too. Will there be toy trucks in heaven? Is my dog Bella up here too? Can't wait to see my grandpa and all the angels mommy said were watching over me and waiting for me with you. Do you hear that? I love to sing too. I used to sing a song about how you loved me. I'm just so happy that you do. So can you talk to people down there? I won't be able to. Can you tell my mom you'll be there with her and she'll see me one day too? After Elizabeth posted this on Facebook, someone commented and said, this painting is meant for the mother of the seven-year-old boy who was lost in Hurricane Helene. Elizabeth didn't even know the story. Suddenly, Elizabeth asked her followers to please help her find the mother of Micah. About 45 minutes later, someone connected her with Micah's aunt, then and began to share with Elizabeth the details included in her poem that she received from God. Micah's grandpa was also killed in the flood, as was his dog, Bella, named Bella. Micah had a favorite blankie and he played with trucks and his greatest goal was to be a superhero. Micah's aunt connected Elizabeth with Micah's mom, Megan. Micah's mommy, Megan, wept and wept, and she said, that is my son. And even the color of his hair, the way he looked walking with Jesus, it looked just like Micah. Here's a clip of the artist, Elizabeth, who was so emotional after knowing that God had spoken to her to bring comfort to this mother. She commented back, how, we talked about that, me and this, we have no idea how she, she happened to see my comment. Only God, guys, only God. And she messaged me her phone number and I was like, I was already bawling. I was already crying. This is nothing, this was nothing compared compared to Wednesday. This is, this is light tears. Um, and we got on the phone and that's all we could do was cry. That's all we could do was cry. Cause then she goes into the situation that the exact dog's name that God had led me to, cause it was only God that God had led me to, that is my dog Bella up here too. It's part of the poem. That dog was on the roof with him. The blankets, the trucks, you guys have to go read the story. Just go read the story. If you haven't just the whole thing. And then I talked to the mom. I have never cried so much in my life, guys. You've never cried so much in my life. 
I'm an ugly crier, don't look. When she told me that that was her son. When she told me that that was her son and that she'd look at it every single day and she found this peace and she continued to have the peace looking at it and reading at it that he was with Jesus. <laughs> Worth all the tears, guys. Worth all the tears. <laughs> Many people might be skeptical and they might say, well, this little boy called out to Jesus, but Jesus didn't save him. Or did he? Because the Bible says all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the Bible also teaches us we don't live only for this life. In fact, no one is promised tomorrow. Any one of us could face something like little Micah faced that tragic day. But the key is, have you called on the name of the Lord to be saved? Because this message from God was letting Micah's mom, Megan, know that Jesus did save him that day. He didn't just merely save him from floodwaters. He saved him into eternal life. And Megan has the hope of being reunited with her son for eternity. Do you have that assurance? If not, today is the day of salvation. Call on the name of the Lord because all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. I think it's truly amazing that God used the life of this little seven-year-old boy to speak now, even now, to say that Jesus does save. And Jesus is the greatest superhero. Thanks, Micah. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for being a Jesus Saves superhero. You're awesome. Can't wait to meet you, buddy.